perhaps uh, you can throw light on, especially, you know, uh, Ajay, since he talked a lot about monitoring and monitoring large projects, how digital is critical. What has your journey been with Falcon Break? If you look at India, uh, it's not that technology is not coming, but where is the technology coming? A lot of front-facing, front-end, head office-based functions have actually seen a lot of technology. So if you see property portals are there, CRM softwares are there, BIM softwares are there, procurement softwares are there. What's the common pattern here? All head office, front-end focused, sales focused. Now the problem here is while 60% of the value of a project is added at site, less than 5% of technologies available in construction actually percolate to the site. That's a problem. And that's where you know we are seeing this change happening. I'll actually, so that's one thing. Second is we've not really had technologies which address the issues of people on the ground when it comes to site. And that's where we in Falcon Brick came in. We knew from our experience in consulting as well as construction and technology, you're not going to have people on the site adopting it unless it really gives them benefit and makes their lives on a daily basis better and reduces friction for them to use. And senior management is not going to use it on multiple projects unless their people on the ground say, hey, this technology is good and I want to use it. The, the, the push should come not from the top. Your sales cycle time to sell something will reduce if you sell to the top guy, but it will stop at that first project. The bottom guy on the ground has to say, this is damn good. That's when the trickle up FX will happen. And we designed our product to actually do it bottom up, not top down. Fantastic, Sashi. Actually, you've touched upon one of my favorite topics, right? When, especially when technologists design products, right? They focus so much on the functionality and product that they're trying to build. But however, users don't use it that way, right? One of my favorite things as a, you know, uh, somebody who runs a design company um, is, you know, I believe designing a product is all about ensuring that the end user actually sees the value of the product in the user interface, right? The design is successful when the end user and at every given level, wherever the end user is, they're able to see the product and say, ah, this is going to add value to me personally in my job. It's going to help me in my job. And that's when they will actually not resist uh, adopting the platform. And that's when a, a tool becomes a platform is when everybody in the company sees value that the platform is going to deliver to them.